Doubling two-syllable words. As our learners come across longer words in their reading and those they need to spell, we want to be sure to teach them strategies that support their development. One of the ways we can do this is by teaching them the rules for adding suffixes to words. Some of the things we want to teach them about adding suffixes to words are teaching the two kinds of suffixes, whether you add S or ES, teaching the doubling rules, teaching the e-drop rule, and adding suffixes to words that end in Y. Today, we're going to talk specifically about another doubling rule. This time, it's for two syllables. Now, we've already talked about one, one, one words in another video and why we double those. I will put the link to it in the description below, but as a quick reminder, one, one, one words have one syllable, one vowel, and one consonant at the end. We're going to see how this doubling rule plays out with two syllable words today. So let's talk about that for a minute. Why is it that we double the P and the T in equipped and forgotten, but we don't double the L and the H in words like traveling and finishing? Now that's a great question. Let's talk about four requirements for doubling two syllable words. There are a few exceptions of, of course, but for the most part, here they are. First, and obviously, most obvious here, it needs to be a two syllable word we're talking about. Second, we are looking for the final syllable to be a one, one, one syllable. Now, like a one, one, one word, we want it to be one syllable, have one vowel and one consonant at the end. Third, we're going to look for a vowel suffix to be added. And lastly, we want the final syllable of the base word to be the accented syllable. Now, out of these four requirements, the last one will probably be the trickiest one for our learners. So let's camp here for just a minute before we get to some practice words. The accented syllable is the syllable in a word that you say a little louder compared to the other syllables. For example, in cancel, the first syllable is accented, cancel. In the word reread, the accent is more on the second syllable, reread. Now, finding the accent in words is an abstract and kind of a subtle concept, and it makes it difficult for many of our learners. Here are a, quick, a few quick tips that can help find accents in words. First, use rhythm to your advantage. You can help learners listen for accented words and syllables using nursery rhymes and familiar songs because more times than not, the beat falls on the accented words or the accented syllables. You could ask your learners to place their hand under their chin and they can feel that their chin drops a little lower when they're speaking an accented syllable versus an unaccented syllable. You can try the syllables, try the word a different way, saying the syllables a little differently. So for example, instead of saying cancel, you could try it cancel and see if that sounds right. You could encourage them to use a dictionary. So your older learners can be taught how to use a dictionary to find which syllable is accented or stressed in a word. Now you can find even more ideas for helping readers identify accented syllables in my blog post. The link is shared in the description below here. Now let's try a few words together as we explore doubling two syllable words. Let's say we want to add ing to the word forget. So we must first ask ourselves four questions to know if we should double the T before adding ing. The answer to all four questions must be yes. So first we're going to ask, is it a two syllable words? And if your learners know how to divide words into syllables based on the six most common syllable types, they're going to discover that forget is indeed a two syllable word. So second, we want to ask, is the final syllable a one, one, one syllable? So I'm underlining it here so we can really focus in on it. Well, we already know the second syllable is just one syllable. We can see that it has one vowel and it has one consonant at the end. So yes, it is a one, one, one syllable. Third, 
we want to ask ourselves, are we adding a suffix that's a vowel suffix? And yes, we can see that ing starts with a vowel. Fourth, we want to ask ourselves, is the final vowel, final syllable, excuse me, is the final syllable accented? So let's try it out. Do we say forget or do we say forget? To me, forget is the one that sounds right. So yes, that final um, syllable is accented. So we have four yeses. And what that means is when we add ing to forget, we need to double the T. Let's try another word. Let's say we want to add ed to the word conceal. So we're going to ask ourselves those four questions to be to see if we have four yeses. First, do we have a two syllable word? And again, if your learners know how to divide words into syllables, they're going to discover that conceal is divided into two syllables. Second, we want to ask ourselves, is the final syllable a one, one, one word? And again, I've underlined it here. Now we can see it is one syllable, but notice it has two vowels. So our questions is, is it one syllable? Does it have one vowel? And does it have one consonant at the end? And we can see it doesn't just have one vowel, it has two. So what we can say here is it is not a final one, one, one syllable. Now we don't even need to keep going down our list to see if, because we already know we, we're not going to have four yeses. So concealed, when we spell it with the ED, we do not need to double that final L. Let's try one more word. So we have the word labor and we want to add the ER to it. So we're going to go through those four questions again. First, is it a two syllable word? So if we divide it using the, the open syllable rule, we can see that labor is two syllables. So we have our first yes. Second, is the final syllable a one, one, one syllable? So we look at the final syllable. We know it's one syllable. We know it has one vowel and we know it has one consonant at the end. So yes, we have a one, one, one syllable. Third, we want to ask ourselves, are we adding a vowel suffix? And we can see that that ER, it does start with a vowel. So yes, we are adding a vowel suffix. So far we have three yeses. We've got to have four though. So fourth, we're going to ask ourselves, is that final syllable accented? So let's see what sounds right. We have labor or labor. It's hard to say it that way. <laughs> so we know labor sounds right. And when we say it that way, we see that the, the accent is actually on the first syllable, not the last syllable. So what that means is it's not a final accented syllable. So we got close to four yeses, but since it's only three, we are not going to double the R when we add the ER to labor. Now remember, when we are deciding if we should add the, the final consonant, if we should double the final consonant in two syllable words, there are four requirements. First, it must be a two syllable word. Second, the final syllable must be a one, one, one syllable. You must be adding a vowel suffix and the final syllable must be accented. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this doubling rule, but it's more consistently followed than it is broken. So it's a good one to teach to our learners. Now, your learners will probably need more practice with this tricky skill. So I've created some free printables on my blog just for you. I also have an interactive inflected endings bundle pack in my shop. It has games and activities for, for practicing adding inflected ending suffixes to words. The links to these and the other resources I've mentioned in this video, you can find them in the description below. And as always, thanks for joining me at This Reading Mama, where you'll find hands-on learning for home or for school.